All right, thank you, Alex. And now Alex is tossing it over to Gary, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Well, time you for beyond the barometer. Yeah. To make tonight. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I informed our staff that I will be retiring as chief meteorologist at the end of February of next year. Um, I've been here for almost a third of a century, actually a little more <laughs> than a third of a century by the time we, we hit that point. And uh, it's time to, uh, to, to move on. Uh, this is entirely my decision. Alex Harrington will be taking over as chief meteorologist at that point. So I know the station and the weather department will be in good hands. And so. don't cry, because you're going <laughs> gonna to make me cry. You and I have traveled a long road together. Gary and I first started working together in the 1980s <laughs> in, <laughs> in Rhinelander. <laughs> in Rhinelander. Um, but why now? Do you, why is now the right time? Well, you know, uh, this is kind of a difficult time for me because uh, if you remember last year at this point, uh, my wife Jean passed away very unexpectedly mm -hmm. uh, right before Christmas. And um, it, it, it took a while for me to come back, and coming back to work was, was certainly helpful at, at that point. Um, and, you know, I got back into, into things, and, and, you know, the people here were, were just perfect, I mean, just beyond uh, helpful, and, and, uh, and, you know, it really made a, a big difference to me, uh, <laughs> getting back to work. But, um, you know, once I saw, you know, my, fr my son Chuck was okay, you know, I could start getting back into, into things. But the, the reality of this job is it, it takes a lot of your time. I mean, you, you know, you're always on call. Severe mm -hmm. weather, you know, somebody calls in sick, somebody's got to be here, you know, and, and that's just the, uh, just the uh, uh, reality of the job. Uh, but uh, at, at the same time, um, very suddenly, like right before Memorial Day of this past year, um, <laughs> I had tickets for a Cubs game. Um, a woman that I had met nine years ago on one of our holiday vacation trips to Austria and Germany, uh, her dad could, was, was ill. Her mom asked Priscilla if she would go with. I met her, you know, like I meet everybody else on holiday vacation trips. I knew she was a baseball fan. She had lost her husband very similarly, same time of year, um, five years before. And so um, I just I asked, I had an extra ticket. I asked her if she wanted to go to the Cubs game. And so, you know, we spent time in the car and just we, we hit it off very well. Just, you know, mm -hmm. uh, something we both could relate to, you know, having mm -hmm. lost a spouse at an early age. And, um, you know, one thing led to another, and we've been dating ever since. And, you know, so now, you know, both of us having lost a spouse at mm -hmm. an early age, you start to realize <laughs> that Priorities life's a little change. more fragile. Yeah. Priorities Here. change. You yep. take one of these, catch, no, no, catch, catch your breath. And we, we want to share so. something special with you. <laughs> okay. Let's take a little trip down okay. memory lane, shall we? that would kind of pass through once in a while. There were just a couple of drops of rain reported for our so far southwestern viewers. In a while. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. Count those hairs. All right. Have a good day. Gary Canalti has the AMS seal of approval. This morning, skies are clear to partly cloudy across most of southern Wisconsin. Sounds However, great. Sure does. I, I just say. hope we don't make up for it further on down. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be. We must be getting a little bit spoiled because I... Oh. Now, Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti from the News 3 Weather Center. All right, let's go to get, There he is now. There's a little leprechaun. <laughs> for the overnight hours, but afternoon high temperatures uh, warmed up a little bit. From our weather spotters and meteorologist Gary Canalti. Oh my gosh! Wow. But well, we've got <laughs> we've got time still. Yeah, uh, another almost three months. Uh, it's the end of February. Um, mm -hmm. Tom Skilling from WGN is retiring on the 28th. I decided to retire on the 29th since it's a leap year. I don't want to step on time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's perfect. But uh, that's but yeah. Perfect. So but I want to thank everybody here. Tom Beer who hired me back in the the uh, early or 1990. Uh, you know the station management, uh, Liz Burns, Brian Burns. You know. Uh, our ownership, uh, Lyle Banks, our general manager, Kyle Fobey, our, our news director, um, all the staff here, uh, and you, the viewers. I mean, I, I found out. I love you are. <laughs> yeah, if we, yeah, you know, after Jean passed away and after I had COVID, so. Mm -hmm. um, oh, 
Stop. <laughs> okay, you two. Yes, I know. All right. <laughs> no, it's we're going to we're going to celebrate soon. Yes, we are. There's still time to celebrate. We will. You are loved, yeah. and we still have you. It's like the Hotel California. You can check out, but you can't leave. <laughs> yes, exactly. So and, and, and he will still be around. I, I will be around, and you know, I, I may be available for some occasional mm -hmm. fill-in too. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll have okay. our people get in touch <laughs> with your people. We All love right. you. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be right back.